Hi, this is Lizette Larson of the Morales Business Network, and today I'm here with Robert Morales from the Morales Business Network. The Morales Business Network was formed to support entrepreneurs and small businesses through network marketing. Thank you for joining us. For the next 20 minutes, we will be talking to Robert about his business, but more importantly, about who he is. At the Morales Business Network, we believe in connecting people via video marketing and exploring the you in your business. With that said, we like your likes, but we love, love your loves. <laughs> Please click away with many hearts as you continue to watch this video make comments, and by all means, share. So Robert, you're the Hello. founder of Morales Business Network, correct? Um, that, that would be right, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's accurate. Absolutely awesome. I know that you have a business networking event this uh, Thursday, and I know you're quite busy, so I thank you for meeting with me today. But um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, tell us about your business. Uh, the business network um, formed from this need that I had to really connect with people. And so... Um, we developed this group. Well, it's quite the network that you have actually gained and grown. The funny thing is it's just a group of friends, so it's just kind of... That's the neat part about it. Tell us what brings you here tonight. Well, tonight, actually, I have the pleasure of being the host. Uh, there's something that I, every time that I come here, what I get is so one or two connections that are extremely valuable, mm -hmm. that are really at the next level. It's not just the exchange of uh, cards, but actually where I'm like super curious to get to know them and like get together with them again. Right. So I want to make sure that I meet two, at least two people that I truly connect with and, and that I'm excited to go and sit down with them again. So what is it that drives you every day to your new goals and your new passion. The, the need to have people see of themselves. If I, can, if I can have a moment with somebody and they discover something new about themselves or something they didn't think about, you know, that, that, that appeals to me. That's what keeps me going. Because uh, I'm constantly thinking about and exploring emotions, my own emotions, selfishly. Mm -hmm. But if I can turn that around and help somebody discover their own, that's well worth it to me for, for the time. We're here for a greater purpose, I believe. You know, it's not about business. It's not about money. You know, so it's about right. really having a moment and sharing with people and um, building a community that is reinforced and gives back to each other. What brings you here today? Um, I've been uh, coming for the past six months, and it's just a wonderful group of people to get to know on both a personal and professional level. What would you say is the best part of the networking event for Morales Business Network? I like the fact that unlike some networking events and whatever you go to, there's some degree of depth and actual being meaningful relationships. Tell me about your team and the people that you work with. It's, it's an awesome group of people that, are, that I consider friends. I originally got this, uh, did this for, for business purposes, but what it's ended up being is, is something far greater than, uh, and far more valuable than uh, creating a business. Having these friendships that are, that are long lasting and um, are more valuable than any kind of transaction I ever had. What would you say is the best part of coming t to the Morales Business Network events? It really is the people. I mean, it is it is connecting with people and, and uh, forming deeper relationships. You see the same people coming to the same events, more people coming. Uh, the business group is growing a lot. Just deeper connections, building relationships with like-minded people. Perfect. There you go. It's all about the connections and networking with people. What do you think your purpose is in this business and your role? The one thing that I find very common with, with everybody is that they want to help each other. There's never been a time where somebody says that they are here to help themselves. Mm -hmm. It's always, I'm here for my purpose, which is to help people. What I've discovered is that you have to figure out and choose a means to help people. Because everybody has the same purpose. Everybody's here to share and build each other up. It's just, right. what do you choose to be that? And for me, at this point in my life, it's the Morales Business Network, but you know, before that it was real estate, and before that it was CPS, and I was still helping people, and I still help people today. And I think my value is to just have people discover of themselves and be inspired, not by other people, but really of themselves. Mm -hmm. What brings you here today? 
I just absolutely love what Robert does in bringing business professionals together to learn more about each other and build a sense of community. Not your traditional networking group where you just come in and pass out business cards and mm -hmm. in and out. A lot of the people that come to the events come frequently and you do have that opportunity to get educated, be informed about who people are and what they're doing, why right. they're doing what they're doing, and, and really build that sense of community. What is your vision five years from today? The vision for this is to continue to grow and then grow from it, you know, um, grow past it so that I can explore the next thing. You know, it's just like going back and playing guitar. Awesome. You learn guitar, but then when you, I don't, I don't think I'm a master at it, but I've, I've mastered it enough to where I feel good about it. And it mm -hmm. gives me a reward for doing it. And once I achieve that level, why not just go to the next thing? In five years, that's hard to say. You know, I, you know five years ago, I never imagined this. It manifested upon me, and now it's just I'm on that road to. And you acted to that. right. What brings you here to Morales Business Network? So I own cosmetology schools, therefore you know when I say you look beautiful, Thank right? You. I, right. So um, the best place to be able to network with is here, right? Our Absolutely. Students, you know, they can do interning for you. So I heard that this is the place to be. Absolutely. So is this your first time here today then? No, it's actually my second. And the first time was free to lure me in. The second time was a charge and it's well worth it. So if you guys haven't been to one of these uh, events, you definitely want to come out, um, and it's well worth every penny. It just was very interesting to me how being a CPS investigator to a completely different field, and I was just wondering what it was that led you from one field to a completely different field, and what it was that brought that to your life. In, in the short of it, I, I want to say that it was mostly the universe talking. You know, I'm not, I, I grew up Catholic, but I'm not necessarily religious, but I definitely feel that there are entities and uh, beings and influences that we have in our life that are beyond this physical plane. There were so many messages and so many things before that I received saying, you know what, um, that career mm -hmm. is over. You need to leave it. Uh, but because I was so invested in it, and so um, I felt like it was my identity. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was probably my biggest mistake in that, is that. I relied on it to identify who I was. If you're not um, pursuing bigger and better things in life, you're not growing. And that job so much pulls you back. Again, uh, the universe basically spoke to me and said, this, this career is over. I knew that that was coming to an end. Um, I, I had a gut feeling. And so I, I did real estate classes and, and kind of got into that because of my circumstances. You know, I had some homes I needed to sell. Things come in your life that... that prepare you for the next thing. Right. And if you're not open emotionally or spiritually, then you'll fail to see them. And so it was just a, it was a moment where things were just coming to a head. I took some, some time off uh, and discovered that uh, I needed to move forward. Mm -hmm. And I left that career um, against my will, I would say, mm -hmm. given the circumstances. And I can talk to you about that, but we only have 20 minutes. Uh, but there were certain circumstances at the same time where it said, you know what, this career is over, your life is changing in a very significant way. Uh, I begrudgingly accepted it. But also, too, it was the people around me that reinforced the fact that I needed to move on. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, they did not, the, the beings or things that are in my life did not veer me off that course. And again, I'm here, sitting right. there, not, not realizing, you know, five years ago that I'd be sitting here five years from now doing this stuff. Tell me, what was the best part of today's event? Just meeting the great people here. I think it's a different type of crowd compared to the other mixers that I've been to. Um, and it's just really unique. There's, you get that genuine bond right. that is absent in, uh, you, you, absent in most other mixers that I've been to. What would you say is the most memorable part of today? When we won the dance contest at the very end of oh. the mixer. We had a dance contest, believe it or not. Yay. We killed it and we got most improved. But I thought we were great winners. <laughs> yes, we were. You and you'll agree. <laughs> you seem to be doing great. It's it's a different different experience. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you still different. get to help others yes. and be charitable and help others grow their business. So you're definitely more successful, and um, you're happy, and that's important. Feeling content is probably the 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 resounding feeling I have. I feel like everything is right where it should be, even though there are some challenges. You make decisions based off those concerns, but um, overall content. You know, not, not uh, gloriously happy, because that's just a moment 
in time, but very content. And content has, I think, a very lasting effect more than happiness does. So if there's anything that you can have in the world right now, talking about content, if you could have anything in the world or a wish, what would that be? I guess to never stop and never hold myself back like I was before. Let's never get to a point where um, I would hold myself back. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and again, I think that relates to fear. Not being afraid to take another step and not allow, allowing my situation to control that. I think that's the, probably the biggest thing that um, I would wish for. So many times, it's, it's just so easy to go back there. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to hide in your room. And you know, for the longest time, um, as through my challenges in life, I'd always go hide, never confront my challenges. Mm -hmm. and, and now that I see the benefit of making those steps, and it's a completely different world, but so easy can I go back there. So easy, can I just, you know, uh, another networking event. And, and when I prepare for these events, mm -hmm. I just want to say, you know, throw my hands up and say, okay, screw it. I don't want to do it anymore. You know, it's just <laughs> a lot of stress. Trying to get people on time, trying to yes. get, you know, enough tickets. So it all that culminates and it's just like, why am I doing this? But then after it's like, oh, that's what I was doing. But I, again, right. you, you can very easily get back to there. And, and if there was one wish, it's to never get, never pull myself back like that. So what brings you to tonight's event? Well, Robert is a close friend of mine, plus these events are very fun. For sure, we're going to get some connections. Every time that I come to this event, we get some business connections. It's more friendly, these kind of networks, because people like each other, and people like to communicate each other, and they share the same goal. Ricardo is here for business and connections. You love guitar. Oh, yes. And you love to sing. Yes. So <laughs> did, how did you get into guitar and singing? How? When, when did that happen? My dad bought a guitar, I think when I was uh, about nine or ten years old. I remember we went to a garage sale and there was just a couple of guitars there. My dad bought mm -hmm. them for 60 bucks. I just had this compulsion to want to play it. And then I remember singing the, the very first song I ever played was, was to my mom. Do you remember what song oh, God, that was? Oh, God, no. So <laughs> I just remember reading it and then just practicing it. And yeah. it wasn't the best. I'm sure it was horrible. But it was, you know? I'm sure, wonderful to her, right? Uh, who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but it was it was very fulfilling to me. Everything I get involved in, I, I immerse myself in. And I've been fortunate in a lot of ways. And uh, where I've come from, it's just, again, this compulsion to continually learn new things all the time, learn new things. What brings you to tonight's event? Do you know what? It's a, it's a networking meeting here. I know I'm going to meet more people here. And it's a it's change information about the business, what we do with each other. You know? What do you hope to take home with you today? Oh, especially more connection with people, be more honest, integrity with each, 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 each one. There's so many visions that we can come up, and there's so many ideas that can come to our mind, but is very few people that actually act on that and make it happen. So congratulations to you because you're making it happen and that's what matters and that's what brings success. So congratulations again. Thank you. It's hard to really even accept that because again, it's just like you're constantly on this journey and you're constantly moving. Mm -hmm. um, and there's moments where you look back and you can say, oh, that was successful, but I just see it as this continuum and it just keeps going. Mm -hmm. That I should be humble and, and accept it, but it's just, it's hard to do that. It, um, at least for me anyway, and I've had this discussion with other people, and mm -hmm. sometimes you really just have to allow somebody to give you a gift, and for you to say that, I, I must say thank you. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to learn how to accept that. You're very welcome. Um, how could you ascribe today's event? Community. True community. You could tell that he was truly building a community, and I appreciate that. I definitely felt that it was sincere. All the connections that we made, all the people that I talked to, you can tell that they were genuine, and they truly wanted to know who you were, and that's what he promoted as well. What would you say is the most important thing that you're taking home with you today? The most important yes. thing? Oh, gosh. You know, I feel actually a lot better now than I did when I first got here. Okay. The ambience? The ambience, yes. yes. Absolutely. It was something that, when I first got here, it was like, yes. I was just kind of mellow. But then mm -hmm. when you left here, it was like I was on a high. Right. You know, and absolutely. it was because of all the energy that was here and all the good vibes and the good energy. I really absolutely. loved it. One last question that I have for you today. I only have one question. Uh, there were so many earlier. <laughs> I was wondering what it was that brought you to 
the networking world. Everything that I read was, you know, going back to your base, going back to who you know and your friends. To try and drum up business, and, and then it felt awkward. How do I how do I try to get business from a friend? At the heart of it, it's still about giving and still about connecting with people on a very genuine level, very sincere way. The challenge in that is how do you make money from a friendship? You know, I've always struggled with that. It's always been the it's always been the challenge for me to, to figure out how to manage both, which is kind of again the the, the creed that we follow is health, wealth, and balance. How do you balance mm -hmm. out business with personal relationships. What was the best part of tonight's event? Well, actually, the interaction uh, together uh, with uh, the community, I thought it was a, a wonderful atmosphere. Uh, the guys, especially in particular, they were overwhelming like with their stories and they told what's going on in the world. I thought that was awesome. And there was a lot of people that I got to meet for the first time and they were awesome uh, people. So it was, a, it was a, a positive, successful night. I always say, help me to help you. So if I can't help myself, I can't help you. Absolutely. So it's like it's help, it's both, it's a two way street and that's what makes it exciting. Will you be returning to the next yes. event? Uh, yes, indeed I will, I shall. This is Lisa Ferra, reporting to you with Morales Business Network. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Till next time. Congratulations on everything that you've accomplished this last, is it three years that you started business, uh, your business network? Um, it's, it's been just a little over two years since we started this, this adventure, I would say. Wow, and who's invited? Everybody. <laughs> so there's, there should be a link, we'll put it in the post somewhere. You can purchase tickets and um, come and see what we're all about. So it's this Thursday at what time? Uh, we start, the doors open at 5.30. Come and join us. We would love to see you there. Uh, I will be working with videos and uh, of course Robert will be there and all of I'll his team. This is Lizette Larson and I wanted to personally invite you to join us this Thursday with Morales mm -hmm. Business Network and we will see you there. Hi, this is Lizette Larson with Morales Business Network. <laughs> oh, you want me to start? I'll start. You just have to say that. <laughs> Lizette. Okay. Start all over, because I forgot the part. Uh, okay, I gotta go really slow with the S's, because I'm just gonna... You and your business. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Okay. I need to rehearse them. <laughs> oh boy. Exploring the you in your business. <laughs> You're so funny. You're flying out the cup. <laughs> Is that a good answer? Were you recording? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We like your likes, but we love, love your loves. loves. <laughs> so we can just keep, we'll just keep rolling. We'll just keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it rolling. Because I'm... Great. I just can't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, like that no, whole thing chunk twist me. <sighs> okay. And go. So I'm, I'm... Okay, here we go again. Here at the Morales Business Network, I can't take my... <laughs> <laughs> I can't take my iPhone, this is a grip. <laughs>